When I was first hired, I taught almost exclusively principles of biology, which is the biology for majors. I also teach applied microbiology, uh, types of bacteria, viruses, microbes, how they interact with us, our bodies, how our bodies react to them, and uh, the specific diseases and what causes them. And I lecture in class. The notes usually given to them are the basic concepts, and then I elaborate and discuss those concepts using examples and uh, scenarios and case studies and things like that in class. But I've always loved science, especially the biological sciences, because like most little girls, I was a huge animal lover. I'm still a huge animal lover. Yeah, anything about the way the living world works has always fascinated me. So when I was in college, I got really interested in genetics, especially in the last few years. It's been really helpful to kind of know and explain to some people what's going on with the, the pandemic and everything else. A lot of the students have, have jobs or are working somewhat in the field, and so I find them great to have in the class because uh, they can share uh, their own stories and their own experiences. I do love my students to interact, to talk, especially since I teach lab as well. They really get interactive in there. I'm going from table to table helping them. And, uh, but yeah, I, I'm not standoffish. I do like get to know my students. To be honest, I never thought about being a teacher because I was always an introvert growing up and never liked speaking in front of people. So I thought, oh, I can't do that. I'm never going to be good at that. But I actually came from a family of teachers. My mother was an elementary school teacher, and my grandfather, a high school physics teacher, and several other teachers in the family. So I don't know, maybe it's in the blood. And eventually you find your way there. Surprising, surprised myself that I actually enjoyed it. I found the students very enjoyable and teaching material that I liked. When I first started adjuncting, uh, it was still Pensacola Junior College at that time. So I made the transition as many people have. And uh, it's an excellent place to work excellent place and uh, I have to say the colleagues um, both in my own department and those that I've interacted with in the other department I know I have some good friends they are a wonderful group of people uh, all eager to help very very knowledgeable uh, a lot of experience in a lot of different areas that they bring to the table and uh, I guess a very eager to help could not work with a better group of people